the cows back out. I am working on Mother's Day weekend. <laughs> what mother doesn't work on Mother's Day, right? Good morning, everyone. I've been on the road for two weeks. A uh, week before that, we had our county show. My kids did really good at the county show. I'm going to show you some clips here of that county show. All the stuff that goes in the car. It literally takes moving the whole house to go to one livestock show. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. Like, let's get them checked in. Go weigh in. All right, baby. 88 pounds. Let's go find your stall. All right, weigh in the cow. Come on. You got this, baby. Hold on to her. We're going in. Uh, right now I am on my way to go feed Chuck Norris before uh, we go work the calves. So yesterday I did not get to do the fun part is what I call it and bring all the cows up. Uh, but today we're working the calves and what it means to work the calves is we're doctoring them and ear tagging them and giving them all their medications they need to get through the summer. Um, so that's what I mean by working cow calves. I worked the cows yesterday by giving them medicine and different things. Um, anyways, all right, Chuck Norris. Good morning, Chuck. Ooh, you hungry? Chuck was found on a levee and we have no idea where his mother went. <laughs> He uh, just randomly appeared one day and was like, hey, I need a new mom. So here we are. He gets bottle fed. But yep, that's Chuck. That over there is the new show heifer. Uh, so, yep. The other show heifers are out in the pasture. And yes, I am wearing my nine-year-old's Crocs to the barn. <laughs> like, how do you like all my little Croc charms? There you go, girl. So I just drove to the farm and my daughter's like, oh, the mosquitoes are bad. Can I have your shirt? So I gave her my ag gear shirt because I'm that kind of mom. And I'm back home getting me a shirt. <laughs> it feels like sometimes we can never get started working because everything else. <laughs> It's a good day when you get a driveway full of cowboys trailers. Good morning, babies. How are y'all? It's the horse parking lot. Look the fence this morning. It's escape route. <laughs> it's above the chutes here. try to get all of this done before hurricane season. Um, we live in an area where we get hurricane surges. Um, we've had past hurricanes where we've lost our whole ranch before. Um, and we've had our cows get mixed in with other ranches cows and it would take us a month to separate them. But if your cattle is branded and your cattle is ear tagged, then it makes it easier to separate your cattle from other ranchers' cattle if they get mixed up. Um, and that goes for not just hurricane season, but they cross fences and go into other pastures and different things as well. 
So what you see here is a calf squeeze chute. We're capturing the calves and each cowboy has their job that they're doing, which is making this go very fast and very efficient. And that's my daughter, she's doing the ear tagging. Um, we hired six cowboys today, and these cowboys are hired by a lot of the ranches around us. So they work just about every weekend doing these things. Yeah, we've already worked 75 calves and it's only 10.30 in the morning, so. Uh, this is a former show heifer right here. She thinks she's a calf. She followed all the calves in. <laughs> Hershey, you're spoiled rotten. You know that? You're gonna push them all out? Hershey, go. Shoo, you're driving us crazy. Go. Shoo, Hershey. Hershey, shoo. Two, go, go, go back in there, go, two, go. We're using a calf table, so the calf table tilts over so we can better and easier work on the calves. Back here, the calf, they keep visiting you. Well, he went away. Hershey come up with nose right Yeah. <laughs> My youngest feral child's job today is to open and close the gate. And as you can see, she takes her job very seriously. Come out, baby. She's also the calf whisperer and helps us move the calves in with their mothers whenever this they set of calves are done. Think if a cow got after you, you could get away? <laughs> no. I bet Pawpaw can get away. Oh, yeah. He pushed me uh, in front of a bull once whenever we were unloading a trailer. I don't know about that. You don't know about that? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. You forgot about that? <laughs> I wasn't even married in the family yet. You're like, watch out. <laughs> So what we vaccinated for was for respiratory issues in the calves and of course black leg. Um, they had a dewormer, got some uh, vitamin shots. My feral child, climbing things as always. Be careful up there, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Gotta love the hay bales, huh? I have to eat Mother's Day lunch with my mother-in-law who's bringing all of us lunch, right? Waiting for lunch. <laughs> if y'all don't want to be on social media, you gotta tell me. Hey, I was at work the other day, it's crawling, and I saw a TikTok of her. I'm like, I see you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said, I know this people from somewhere. I've seen him. And, I still seen him and one of them. I was like, I know exactly who they are. <laughs> and, I, and you know, it's been a long time I've been here. So. Yeah, TikTok. I didn't know nothing about it. Yep. Bells on wheels. She's been serving food for 40 something, 50, I don't know how long, like 50 something years. Okay, that works. How much sauce do you want? Let this big guy go last. Is that good? There might not be nothing left. Yeah, I know, Grubb. He's doing all the work. I missed you yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all about to go move the cows back out. Good job, baby. We gotta get that bull over there. <laughs> we have a couple of hurt bulls that we got a doctor and pin up to watch them for the next couple of days.
Can you get the gate? The hardest gate ever, isn't it? It doesn't have a stick sticking in it. Watch that hole. All right, you got the other horses, girlfriend? Yeah. Watch the hole. Only you, kid. Only you. So we are currently about to push all of the mama cows and their babies that have just been worked back out into the pastures for them to stay. The calves live on their mamas until it is time for them to be weaned. So about October or November time frame, you will see us bring these same mamas and same babies up to wean them. This is what we call a cow-calf operation. My husband's in the very front of the herd, leading the herd down the road, and we're in the back, bringing up the back with the cowboys. Uh, the little baby calves are always the ones that are lagging behind, so we have to make sure we don't have any calf left behind, because you don't want it to get separated from its mama. There's the rice milks. home. Cows are back to pasture. You load them up. There we go. Good job, Maximus. Old man. Old man. 